So this is number 18 from chapter 3, and it's a sequence determination problem. And we're going to figure out the order of the amino acids in a peptide. So the first piece of data tells us that after doing amino acid separation and analysis, they found glycine, leucine, phenylalanine, and tyrosine in a 2 to 1 to 1 to 1 molar ratio. So now we know there's two glycine, one leucine, one phenylalanine, and one tyrosine. Um, and that's very useful for us to be able to n um, figure out the order of the amino acids in this peptide. The next piece of data is that treatment with FDNB, which tells you what's at the end terminus, tells us that tyrosine is on the end terminus. So we could actually fill in one of the amino acids from that piece of data. And remember, you always write the end terminus on the left side and the C terminus on the right. The last piece of data is telling us that chymotrypsin cuts at the C side, the carboxyl side of phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine. Now, that piece of information isn't in the question, it's in the answer, but I would provide that to you on the exam. I told you that you didn't have to memorize any of the proteases and where they specifically cut. I would provide that. So they're saying that complete digestion with chymotrypsin produces a free tyrosine all by itself. It also produces a free leucine by itself. And the other thing that it produces is a tripeptide. And that tripeptide contains phenylalanine and glycine in a 1 to 2 ratio. So phenylalanine to glycine, 1 to 2. So we know that chymotrypsin must cut after that first tyrosine. And in order for chymotrypsin to produce a free leucine, it would have to cut here, and the leucine would have to be here. If there is a cut here, then the phenylalanine must be right there. And we're told that this tripeptide has a 1 to 2 ratio, so this must be glycine and glycine. You can always try putting in different amino acids in the different locations and seeing if the digestion patterns that you're given match what they would be if you predicted the amino acids in different places. So I went straight to this layout, but if that didn't occur to you right away, you can play around with the sequence, put the phenylalanine in this position, for example, and see if you get these products from chymotrypsin. You'll see that you don't, so then you move on.